Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial video. And today we are just going to go over the basics, the layout and the interface of the third party app known as Leechy. If you guys follow my channel, um, whether you follow it or whether you just stumble upon this video, uh, the past two or three, four videos that I've done on the DJI Mavic Pro have been using the third party app known as Leechy. And I've been doing, just showing, showcasing some features, some different flight modes, uh, that you can do inside Leechy, and so now I figured it'd be just good to make a general overall video on Leechy itself and kind of um, the interface and how it's laid out. So here in the very middle, if you'll go to the very top and go one, two, three apps down, you'll see the little Leechy icon. We're going to tap on that and it's going to load up Leechy. Now I don't have my drone connected or turned on at the moment because I just wanted to kind of go over some stuff before we connect it. But so let's just start up at the upper left hand corner and you see the little lychee icon slash logo and FPV. The FPV, that's our normal um, flight mode. Like if you're in the DJI Go 4 app and you were just flying around and you weren't in an intelligent flight mode, that's just the uh, normal flight mode. We can tap on that and that's what's gonna bring up all of our different quote unquote intelligent flight modes as uh, the DJI Go 4 app labels them or calls them. So you have FPV and you have waypoints, you have orbit mode, which is like the POI mode in the DJI Go 4 app. You have pano, you have focus, and you have track. And so far as of uh, right now, uh, here we are in late June of 2018, I've done a video on Leechy on all of these except for track. Um, I tried track the other day, doesn't work near as good as active track in the DJI Go 4 app. And so pretty much on all these modes, I really, really like them. And um, they do really good inside the Leechy app, except for their track uh, feature does need a lot of improvement. And so if you're wanting to do active track and tracking guys, just stay, stay in DJI Go 4 app as of June 2018. So anyways, basically, that's if you tap up there, that's how you get to your different modes. And if you look at the very bottom option, you have a built-in screen recorder. And I do not use that whenever I do these tutorials. I actually, um, I actually just use the built-in screen grabber on uh, that iOS has now. And you know, that's actually a video I'm going to do upcoming in the future. There's always some lagging issues and sync issues. And I have a program that will fix that to where everything will sync up good when you're using the iOS uh, screen capturing, uh, you know, when you're doing videos. So I may do a tutorial on that. So anyways, let's get out of that. And then let's just move to the right um, where it says NA. That's obviously our satellites and how many uh, satellites the drone is connected to for it to acquire its GPS signal. And then to the right of that is simply the um, battery indicator level of your remote controller to the right of that right now we have a big red background and it says disconnected that's because we do not have our drone connected to the right of that that is our signal strength from our remote to our drone and then to the right of that that is our video sync our video signal strength um, that we will receive and then to the right of that obviously is the drone battery and then to the right of that, we have our settings. We are gonna tap on that. And then you get all these different settings. First thing, let's just go through these real guys, or we'll just go through some of the more important ones. But the first thing, you know, I know it depends on where you're at and what part of the country you're at, but here in the uh, United States, um, we're imperialist. So we, we like things in feet and not the metric system. So for those of you in the United States, I think by default this comes in the metric system because that's that's the uh, that's the popular that's the world popular uh, measuring system. But us United States, you know, us in the USA, we have to be different, so we do imperial. And then on map type, when we select that, you've got satellite, standard, terrain, or hybrid. Now what that is is that's just like whenever it's showing where your drone is, and you can um, you know select just the standard, which is just kind of like the Google Maps view. Or I like satellite. And actually I want hybrid because it'll show the satellite, but it'll also show our street and road names and all that good stuff. So uh, we're out of that. Show GEO G -E warning zones. I keep that on. Use AMAP Emergy. As you can see, it says for China mainland. Hey, I'm not in China, not gonna do it. Calibrate map for China mainland. Not in China, not gonna do it. Show home, orienta show home orientation, why not? show GPS coordinates and I could turn that on but I really don't need it 
Um, language, the device language, um, I guess it's by default it's English, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, change it to English. And I guess it had to restart, so we'll just relaunch it. Let's get back into settings. The app version, it shows our app version, firmware version. It probably doesn't show the firmware version, the flight controller version, or the remote controller version because I do not have it connected. It does have a find my aircraft uh, feature. Help, reset all settings, restore previous purchases. And then if, if you know what, let's go ahead and connect the drone so we can um, actually check some of this stuff out here. Give me just a second, guys. I'm going to turn this on. give it just a little bit turn on okay so now uh, there we go okay so aircraft go home altitude I have mine set to 60 meters which I believe I'm not I don't know off the top of my head it's a little shy of 200 feet and then my maximum altitude in meters is 120 meters, which is just short of 400 feet because 400 feet is the allowable um, height you can go here in the United States legally with the FAA. And then um, the air data UAV user token, nothing by it. Air data UAV automatic sync, I'm not gonna check that. Um, signal lost behavior for manual flying. So what happens if we're flying the drone in Leachy and we lose our signal, I want mine to return to home. That's why it's always important to set the return to home uh, feature before you take off, guys. Smart return to home, turn it on. Gimbal mode, y'all follow. Uh, let's see what the options are on that. FPV, free, y'all follow. Just gonna keep it on y'all follow. That's what it was at default. Gimbal gesture control, I got that turned on. Um, let's see gimbal extension i just leave that turned off collision avoidance i turn off and active collision avoidance i turn off and that's because i want my drone to fly a little faster um, i could turn those features on but um th the drone won't fly as fast and so um if you are just new to flying drones i would definitely recommend you turn the collision avoidance on um let's see landing protection i have turned on precision landing i have on vision positioning system on and front leds i have on guys if you're fixing to fly your drone i'm sure um, if you have any experience at all you know how to do that inside the dji go for app if you don't i have a tutorial about setup and takeoff uh, inside the dji go for app just type in dylan young setup and take off and it ought to pop up but um to calibrate your compass here on the lychee app that's where you would just tap it and then it'll tell you exactly how to do it it's pretty much just the exact same way that you do it inside the DJI Go 4 app. Camera, auto record, I don't like that on. Hardware decoding, it was on, so I just leave it there. Cache videos, uh, I do like it to cache my photos because that'll make it sync to my album on whatever I'm using to um, fly my drone with. For, so for instance, I have the iPad connected. Um, photo preview, sure, why not? Uh, peak is folk threshold I have on no overexposure warning I don't have on I can usually tell that by looking at it and so guys I'll just kind of I'm probably this is probably a little overkill to go through every single thing but I just want you guys that I know lychee costs 20 or more dollars and so you're maybe on the fence about man should I buy this app or not so I kind of want to give you guys a good preview of it that don't have the app and also um, it, it's to me it's totally worth purchasing and if and if you haven't seen like my waypoints videos using lychee and some of the other stuff watch those and you'll understand why to me it's worth it to buy because it does everything that dji go 4 does but it also gives you some extra options and things like being able to set up your waypoints without having to even connect your drone it's very very cool stuff so i do highly recommend it but also i want you guys to be very comfortable flying in a dji go 4 before you venture to lychee and then here's the kind of the speech stuff. I'm just gonna let you guys kind of look at it. And then at the very bottom is keys and that's where you can go through there and customize all the keys on your uh, Mavic Pro, Phantom, Spark, Inspire, whatever whatever DJI drone you have connected to the Leech app. So we're gonna click done. And then looking right under that gear icon, you see the little, um, it's supposed to look kind of like a Google Cardboard or, or the, VA, the VR headgear. If you tap on that, 
you'll notice that it actually makes um, it actually makes two side by side. So if you were to uh, have this like on a phone and slip it into your VR headgear, then you could sit there and just fly with your uh, with your VR gear on. If you want to get out of it, you tap the little sprocket at the bottom, then at the top, exit VR. So, and then to the left of that, that's where you can go on Facebook Live, Leechy View, all that good stuff. And then, so, let's go over to the far left and look at those um, four icons. If we click on, um, let's move the drone a little bit. If we click on the very top one with the little camera, Failed to start tripod mode. That's tripod mode. There's tripod mode inside the DJI Go 4 app. Just makes the drone behave a lot more slow, will not go as fast, all that good stuff. The CL is course lock, and the HL is home lock. And then below that is our green, is our takeoff, which is the green with the three arrows. So that's where if you have your GPS coordinates, you have your home point stored, you're good and safe to fly. And just a way to know is you'll look in the lower right corner, guys, you will see that there is a green H. That means the home point, home point has been saved, so you are good to take off as far as having a home point to uh, come back to. Now down in the lower left corner, the very first thing you have is altitude, so that's how high your drone is in the air. Then you have distance. That tells you how far your drone is away from the remote. And then you have miles per hour, which tells you how fast your drone is going. Bottom right, that is just our hybrid view or our satellite view of where our drone is. So just like in the DJI Go 4 app, you can tap on that and it will toggle in between. So as you can see here, now we have our, um, our uh, you know, map view is what I call it. And then you can just tap back on the one in the lower right to toggle views. Now, in the middle of the screen on the far right, that little toggle switch there right now, we're in video mode. If we tap on it, it switches to photo mode. So that's how you can switch back and forth to photo and video. And then obviously the big red button is for recording in video mode and it is to take a picture in photo mode. Then below that, you wanna tap on that. If you want video settings, make sure you're in video mode which is indicated by the red record button and you can hit on settings and then you got all your camera settings and then if you switch toggle over to photo then there's all your photo settings so guys that is pretty much it inside of the lychee app as far as the interface goes um, i hope this video was helpful to you guys um, again if you don't have lychee watch several tutorial videos i have a bunch of lychee videos on my channel just type in dylan young lychee or go to my playlist and click on the dji mavic pro series and all the lychee videos i have have lychee in the title so anyways guys if you enjoyed it please be sure to smash that thumbs up button and as always please be sure to subscribe as i will have more dji mavic pro tutorial videos upcoming in the future as always guys this is dylan i enjoyed it